Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl, Rochelle. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning back in. Internal Rambles, I discuss my life, trending entertainment, topics, music, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to start this episode off the way that I do every Thursdays, which is either with Rochelle's Rave, something that I'm looking forward to, something exciting that's going on, something positive, or with Rochelle's Rant. Something that has frustrated me and gotten on your girl's nerve. Something that has upset my spurt. And today I have a rant, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's get into Rochelle's rant for today's episode. Okay, so my rant for today is a few months ago I took the time to look at my expenses and try to figure out what I am frivolously spending money on now there's a lot of things maybe not a lot but (laughs) just kind of those subscriptions right we got the Netflix we got the Hulu's we got the Apple Music's we got the but just also the different channel subscriptions like why am I subscribed to BET plus and all black and stars and etc etc and so on and so forth right I don't have traditional cable but I do have like what you know air quote cable through Hulu but then they have you can't get all the channels so okay sometimes I want to watch Showtime because there's a certain show but as soon as that show is off I'm I'm canceling it but then it's just it's just frustrating because you sign up for all these things and you you forget about them then so I was looking I'm like all these charges and I'm like wait a minute I'm still subscribed to this so I cancel multiple things I don't need all these extra channels that I don't even watch anymore there were things that I was watching there was other stuff that I was subscribed to um, etc so I canceled multiple things because at the end of the day $4.99 $5.99 is not a lot but then when you add them up all together the sum of those things it becomes a lot so I was like let me stop being let me be a bit more fiscally responsible and financially responsible (laughs) and stop having these subscriptions that I'm not even utilizing. So then there are subscriptions that I do use that I do enjoy. But within the last few, about a month, maybe month and a half, I don't even know my time frames. I keep getting these emails. Next month, in order for us to continue to provide you great service, we're going to have to raise your subscription price by a dollar, by four dollars, by five. And I'm like, why is everybody? And I get it. Things become expensive. But now I feel as though these people are playing with me because everybody is raising their prices. And for example, Netflix I don't know what Netflix used to be, but now I feel as though Netflix in a few, in about a year or two, is almost going to be the price of cable. (laughs) I don't watch Netflix enough to keep, for them to keep raising their prices every two to four months. And then it's just, everyone is, there's a service that I have been um, meaning to cancel Because I really don't. I use it maybe every three or four months. They must. And I was like, I kept telling myself, remember to cancel it. Remember to cancel it. They sent me an email. They're only going up one dollar. And I said, that is (laughs) your, that is your cute. Even your, I don't even use you ever really. So cancel before they go up a dollar and you're not even using the service so that's just my frustration everybody is increasing their prices and this one service they definitely playing around because they're i paid for them through somebody else but they sent me an email but if you subscribe directly through us 
you'll get a discounted price. Who cares who I subscribe? I'm utilizing your service. Who cares how I pay for you? At least I'm paying for you. So it just seems like they just, it's all inflation. It's all about money. I get it. But it's team too much. Because I'll cut all of this off. I don't even watch. I literally barely, I watch cooking shows. (laughs) And YouTube. And I don't even, like, I don't watch TV enough And I don't do enough of these things for, it's basically the mute, like the TV services and the channels and the, but even these music serve, like I'd cancel all that stuff. I really only use Apple music, but I think that's it. What I'm really referring to is these TV and the, the channels and the, the Hulus and all that's what I'm really referring to. I don't watch enough TV for that. I'll cut all of it off. (laughs) Okay. And have one thing and keep watching the same things over and over again. Play with me not. So um, that's just severely, severely frustrating. Especially when I'm trying to continuously watch my budget and just be a bit more responsible and just check like where is my money going because I know what obviously we all be on Amazon and but these services I'm not watching this stuff enough for y'all to be increased I'm okay with some of this stuff with the the rate I initially but then when every few months y'all keep raising and I that that's the issue I get over time but every few months y'all keep sending me an email that you're going up no 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 no, no. I'm not going to keep paying over every few months a different price a higher price so that's my rant because <laughs> I'll go get an antenna credit a quick no I won't but I'm just but I will cut a lot of the stuff off I've already I already canceled a lot of stuff so that's my rant for today How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's almost Christmas. Hope you're in the holiday spirit. If not, I hope that you can get through. Holidays can be difficult. I understand. They can be difficult for me. This holiday is a bit better for me. Thankfully, I hope that you can get through it the best you can and that the new year will bring bluer skies for you Um, because the holidays definitely can be very challenging for a lot of people do what you need to do for you self care is very important if you have faith stay prayed up if you have anyone that you can that can support you even if it's just one person lean on your support people whatever you can do whatever is self care and positive self care for you do what you need to do to get through the holidays If you have travel plans, travel safe. And I hope you have a great holiday season. That being said, let's get into this episode. So I did this last year. I don't know if I did it the year prior. And it's going to be the best of 2023. The best in entertainment. So my top shows, top music, etc., Just some of the things that I really enjoyed this year. I'm going to run through them. And so this year is going to, so this episode is going to be my best of 2023. And then next week will be kind of what I'm looking forward forward (laughs) to probably a little bit generally. There'll be a bit, some specific things, but other things will be a little bit more general. What I'm looking forward to and 2024 so next week's episode will be a bit more of looking forward to uh looking towards 2024 so what i'm looking forward to in 2024 and then the last week of december there will be no new episode i don't know if i'm re-releasing any episodes but there definitely definitely will not be any new episode the last week of december and then 
we will head into the new year and the first new episode of internal rambles will be on january 4th that is the plan currently always subject to change but that is the plan right now and hopefully i will remember at the end of this episode to run that back and review that but that is the plan for the next few weeks of the podcast okay okay so let's get into the best of 2023 my favorite in my favorites in entertainment Alrighty, y'all so this is not in any order but let's go through my favorites of 2023 so I wanted to narrow this down and I was not successful (laughs) but let's go through some of my top shows so these are not necessarily new shows that started in 2023 this was just some of my favorite shows that I enjoyed watching this year so of course the majority of these will be cooking shows because that is mostly what I watch but I try to throw in some non-cooking shows in here so Master Chef Next Level Chef I love Gordon Ramsay okay and also only murders in the building love that show that show has selena gomez it has steve martin martin short it's just such a funny show but also as you're watching it you're trying to solve the cases or the murders along with them it's just a very witty great show on hulu so only murders in the building also guys grocery games i love guy fieri and then a show that was new i mentioned this in a previous podcast the other black girl a must see that show was so good kind of a thriller a little bit also definitely a very important theme that I think people can very much relate to (laughs) okay very much a great show I hope they have a season two just about let me read it I read the synopsis before but I'm gonna read it again I don't want to mess up what the show is about so Let me get what that show is about. Nella Rogers is an editorial assistant at Wagner Books, a publishing house in New York City. As the only black woman working for the company, she feels lonely, undervalued, and marginalized. Nella is excited when Wagner hires Hazel, another black woman, and the other become friends. Shortly thereafter... Nella receives a mysterious message and message instructing her to leave Wagner book Wagner books cracks form and Nella and Hazel's friendship after Hazel's advice gets Nella in trouble. This makes Nella question whether Hazel is purposely sabotaging her in order to advance herself. Eventually Nella begins uncovering Wagner's dark history and sinister secrets child there's a lot that be going on at that in at that job and it there's a lot more to it definitely a lot like I said a lot of different themes in there I definitely think that when you watch it there may be some stuff that you can relate to but I really enjoy it enjoyed it and I hope that there is a season two three four five really great acting in it I definitely definitely am glad that I decided to watch it when I saw like a little ad for it okay okay also really love celebrity squares dc young fly is hosting it it's like the old game show they the contestants have to make tic-tac-toe they have so many different i mean different uh celebrities on there tisha campbell afian crockett uh who else has been on there oh my goodness sukiana brisha webb Lil Duval, 
Chico Bean, Tiffany Haddish. Did I say that already? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, oh my God, they've had so many people. I can't even remember. They've had so many people. Oh, um, I see her face and I can't think of her name. B. Simone, Dion Cole. It's been a lot of people. Carlos Miller, a lot of folk. So definitely, it's super funny, super cute. Really enjoyed that. The neighborhood with said the entertainer, entertainer, Cedric the Entertainer, Tashina Arnold. Really enjoyed that. Bobby's Triple Threat, Bobby Flay, Michael Voltaggio, um, Brooke Williamson, and Tiffany Derry. Churchy, which is on the Kev on Stage app, which is Kevin Frederick's app. Really great show, really funny, really great series. And Miss Pat show with Miss Pat the comedian. Also has Tammy Roman. Really funny. Also has a deals with a lot of deep topics that show made me cry on a couple of episodes and I'm not a big crier so definitely is a testament to just how great the show is but Miss Pat is definitely funny it's definitely a raunchy show it's a lot of cussing and stuff so not safe for your children to be watching (laughs) but it was it's been nominated for an Emmy so definitely a great show to check out if you have not already and I think that is all of my shows I kind of ran through them I didn't want to just name one or two or three because I knew I've been watching a lot of different stuff it's some of these shows are not a surprise I probably mentioned them in my last episode but these are my top shows of 2023 and let's get into my top movies of 2023. Alrighty, so when I say top movies, I really should just say top movie. <laughs> because I don't watch movies, I don't know why I can binge watch a 10, 12 episode show in one day and be fine. But it's something about sitting down for a two hour movie that I can't do. <laughs> and I do not know why I don't I you I don't know why I'm not even gonna get into it the only movie that I can remember seeing is Mission Impossible I have to go and see all the Mission Impossible movies in the theater it is not the same to see it at home at least not the first time I have to be in the theater with the big screen surround sound it I have to have the full theater experience so Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 which is the seventh in the Mission Impossible installment series it was great it was wonderful unfortunately due to the actors and writers strike they really weren't able to promote it like tip like they typically do but it was a great movie and they still at least have one more to go which is the eighth installment in the series part two of dead reckoning after this one i don't know if they're going to be any more mission impossibles but there's at least one more (laughs) so it was great trust me it was great I love Tom Cruise I love Mission Impossible and it was the fact that he is still doing these movies at top notch and still at the top of his game still doing all of his own stunts is incredible and yeah it was great (laughs) highly recommend I actually did a movie review for it way back when when it came out in the was it late spring if you want to check that episode out but yeah so that is my favorite movie of 2023 so next up let's do top books I 
try to read it's really hard my attention span is that of a three-year-old but I am still finishing up I haven't finished it but it's a great book I can recommend it without any hesitation so I love T.D. Jakes I've read multiple of his books and I am currently reading his disruptive thinking a daring strategy to change how we live lead and love it's a really really great book and it talks about just that about challenging your thought process and taking a chance not going kind of going against the grain and the benefits of that and just he talks about how he, that has benefited him in his life and his marriage and his career but then also about how that has been beneficial for others in history whether it's been public figures those in entertainment etc and how and it's just it's a really great book I can't really fully speak to it because I'm still plugging along in it but that's my goal I know that next week is my goal but is to finish my books and stop taking so long to read them <laughs> so but that is a really good book nonetheless and I wanted to I don't this is a book but it, it's a devotional that uh, I am currently doing and so I want to recommend it if you are looking for a daily devotional to do it's really 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 amazing I have to find it I have to look in my <laughs> Amazon orders because that's where I got it from it's called Jesus Calling Enjoying Peace in His Presence Note Taking Edition which is very important so it says experience a deeper relationship with Jesus as you as you savor the presence of the one who understands you perfectly and loves you forever with scripture and space on each page for personal reflection. New York Times bestseller author Sarah Young brings Jesus's message of peace for today and every day. Jesus calling is your guide to living a more peaceful life. By spending time in the presence of the Savior, you feel more comforted by words of hope and encouragement. Written as if Jesus himself is speaking directly to the reader. So it's really great. It gives excerpts from the Bible, but then also just kind of like it, it like it says, it really kind of is like God is speaking to you and just it's yeah that's it's what it does and just really gives really insight and reflection but then the really great thing is it gives excerpts from the bible and just kind of how it applies to your life but then gives you on each on each page on the left i believe it's the left is a space for you to write and and interpret it in your own way so that's what I, I like about it too so it's to me I use it as a as a devotional uh, but you can use it in a, as a journal in any way that you want to use it but I use it as a devotional and it's great I've been using it since the beginning of the year so that's my second that's my second recommendation in my two book recommendations if you want to call it that one a book <laughs> so that is that next up gotta have some music in here again or did I, I haven't done music yet oh so this will be the music portion so favorite concert I only went to one concert this year I went to two last year but I only saw and this isn't really only but I saw Jodeci this year more to come about Jodeci later on in this episode but saw Jodeci saw them last year saw them again this year great show of course because if you're new here Jodeci is my all-time favorite artist been a fan of theirs since 1991 love them love them so great show and not too shabby for that to be the only show to, for to see your favorite artist 
I'm not complaining. So that is my favorite concert. The only concert, my favorite concert of the year. Speaking of music, my favorite albums. It's hard to really like, remember like what the heck even came out this year. Towards the end of the year, everybody, it seemed like, was releasing albums. All the top of my head, I just tried to think of a few. So I have my favorite albums, Chris Brown's 1111. He just pushes out so much music and he's just one of the goats. I know he's super young, but he's consistent. He still performs great, has great albums. You know that boy can dance, okay? I love Chris Brown and 1111, great song. Can't wait to see some more videos from that album I love the album I wanna feel something he has to do a video for that one <laughs> okay please and a thank you Jeezy I might forgive that was a really really great album he divorced he filed for, for a divorce from Jenny Mai and he said I'm about to go back to my trap music <laughs> Rick Ross and Meek Mill, Too Good to Be True. I loved that album. I love Rick Ross. I love Meek Mill. For them to do a joint album, I was in my trap music heaven. And then Drake for All the Dogs. There really hasn't been a Drake album that I have not liked, except for that one where he was doing, I don't even know what that album was called, but the house music one. That's the only Drake album that I have not liked. So, those are my top albums of 2023. And then, favorite podcasts. I'm probably going to repeat some of the ones that I mentioned last year because I pretty much listened to the same ones this year. But I think there may be one or two new ones that I'm adding this year. So, favorite podcast, Daddy Issues, pretty sure that was on last year. That has Tony Baker, DC Irvin, Keon Poli. Craig Wayans, and I'm missing one. And then Broken Plays is a new one with my boy, nav green so funny i don't even listen to sports but just their recaps of what's going on in sports and then i'll go and look and see what happened (laughs) so that i can put a visual to what they're recapping nav green is so funny and it's just a really great podcast tbtv the ball and the beautiful which is marcus tanksley angel lakita moore tanksley Kev on stage, which is Kevin Fredericks and Melissa Fredericks. Great podcast. Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. R&B Money. I talk about that all the time. That's Tank and Jake Valentine. They just keep on pushing out such great. I mean, when they had Casey on there, I already, I mean, listen, but they just have had so many great, 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 great people on there. Conan Needs a Friend with Conan O'Brien. Love that and smart list. So those are my top podcasts. And obviously, I mean, <laughs> internal rambles because come on, who are we getting here? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So Chaz Rogers, that's the other one on Daddy Issues. I don't want to leave him out. So it's Tony Baker, Keon Poli. Chaz Rogers, DC Irvin, and Craig Wayans. There we go. (laughs) Last but not least, for the year in review 2023, biggest accomplishments. I will take this personally and professionally. So I think professionally, obviously, I got a new job within my agency, but a new role, new department. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise dance. 
Amen. <laughs> Personally, I think one of my biggest accomplishments, and it's just the first thing that came to my head, is just, I think, letting go, right? Keisha Cole said, let it go, right? And I think that means a few different things, but I am okay with cutting people off in my life, but I think when certain individuals... It's been challenging just because of things that have been burdened upon me. This is going to be very vague. And I think I've really cultivated a, like one relationship in particular. I've really like fed the soil and turned it over, watered it for years since I was very, very, very young and I'm like, I got blisters and I'm tired. I, I done plowed the mule, as my father would say. I'm I'm 40. I'm old. I'm tired. And I don't, I'm an adult. I'm grown as can be. And I don't have to do that to maintain no relationship, family, friend, coworker, you know, somebody across the street I, you know no one in my life do I have to work so hard that my fingers are bleeding from all the work that I'm doing it doesn't work that way so I think when I know in my heart of hearts that I've done the work and I'm not perfect by no means and I'm not saying I'm cutting this person off in my life and there's no way to fully do that because of the nature of the relationship that I have of how this person is in my life but it's okay to be like you know what holla at me when you you know I'm gonna let you do some work so I think just letting go of having to be this like hero and the middle person in, in so many relationships like I don't gotta do none of this stuff Everyone can handle their own stuff. I'll handle mine. We're literally all adults. Everyone be grown now because we all are. So I think just coming to peace with that has really had uh, decreased or lessened the burden off of my shoulders. So that's been a biggest accomplishment I think just personal growth I think so that's that that's my 2023 in review let me you're gonna hear some papers rustling let me make sure I didn't miss anything I think that was it I think that was it yep I yeah I got everything so that's my 2023 in review what were your favorite shows I have some shows that one was recommended to me by a friend. Another one I saw in someone else's year in review, kind of impromptu year in review that I want to watch. I put in my watch list. But if there's anything I need to be watching, let your girl know. Hit me up on my YouTube page, internalramblespodcast.com. Hit me up on my contact page. Leave me a voicemail. You can always let me know what's going on. What's going on? Would love to know, especially in 2024. I do want to, I do my reality show recaps. Would love to switch it up and do some new stuff. So, oh, oh, that's not a good one. I thought of something, but I don't think that would be good to review. Maybe I'm not sure. It's, sorry, internal rambles. Um, <laughs> but if you do know of anything, let me know. Okay, all right. Really quickly, I'm gonna get into some super quick entertainment news. I think it's a couple of music news items, and then a TV thing, and then something of what I've been watching and. I'll wrap it up, okay? I mentioned Joe to see, right? All right. And that I saw them this year. 
I saw them in 2022, so I've been a fan of Jodeci since 90s, like I mentioned, had never saw them, finally got to see them in 2022, saw them again in 2023, looks like I'm going to be seeing them in 2024. (laughs) Jodeci announced that they have a residency in Vegas, and your girl got tickets, okay? They are going to be at the House of Blues in Vegas. I think it's a week in March and a week in July. So get your tickets. Anytime an artist can do a residency in any, just I mentioned this before, a residency in Vegas is any sort of string of dates at a venue in Vegas. It does not have to be months. It's just a string of dates. So they have a week in March and they have a week in July. Get your tickets. When I saw them last year and this year, they were great both times. Now, the question is always, is Devontae going to be there? Let me let me put you up on game again. Devontae does not fly. So what happens is if they are on a tour, he will be there. But if they're doing spot shows here and there, a lot of times he won't be there. Not all the time. Devontae will be in Vegas. He will be in Vegas. I'm pretty sure he will be in. He ain't going to mess up that residency money. Or, you know, it's, it's, he will be there. Okay. He will be in Vegas. But these random spot shows, a lot of times he don't do. But the tour, when, when I saw them in 2022, it was all for them. When I saw them this year, it was a random spot show. No, Devontae was not there. But Devontae will be in Vegas. So I'm pretty sure of that unless he's not able-bodied, you know, he will, you know, unless something happens to him is what I mean. He will be in Vegas. I'm pretty sure. So excited for them. Kudos to them. They have just been on such a great, it's been just so positive for them. Really excited for them. So get your tickets, get your tickets. Y'all me some Jonas. Okay, well. Well, let me tell you something really sweet. So I have an older brother and, you know, we're, we're, we have a good, we have an interesting relationship, but we're cool. It is what it is. He, for my birthday, he got me, I mean, if anything you ever want to, anything music related you ever want to get me, he got me this really great Jodeci sweater. And when I tell you the scream, I scrumped. I just loved it. It's the little things. So that was it. I loved it. I'm very simple. Give me some concert tickets. Give me something with some Jodeci on it. Get me some of my favorite things and I'll stop with there. But like little things. I'm not very simple. That's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh also speaking of tours i have some other tour announcements keith sweat announced that he is going on his he's starting his finale tour he says that he's been touring for 35 years and he's ready to retire he's 62 i think i had read and he's ready to wind it on down let me tell you something i think that keith sweat is going to be on a finale tour for like two to three years because I think Keith Sweat is, is, he comes from them old school artists where that's what they do. Like New Edition, they tour. They, that's, that's how they get their bread and butter. But it's just bread in them. Just like the Isleys. Just like Frankie Beverly and Maze. They tour. That's what they, even, and it's not really a money thing. Even though I know that they make money. It's just that they are just hard workers. They're grinders. And I do believe that while Keith Sweat, he want that money, he comes from that grinders era. You know what I mean? So Keith Sweat, this Pharaoh tour, I feel like it's going to be going on for a really long time. <laughs> but he deserves rest, right? So I hope he does get to sit back and enjoy the fruits of his labor and just pop out every now and then if he wants to but just he has been torn for a really long time I've seen Keith Sweat before he does a really amazing show too so shout out to Keith Sweat and get you some rest homie you deserve it 
Now I mentioned, I think either last episode or episode prior, these folks are not playing with these tours. They, people are out and about. They like, we about to get this tour money, but we also want to come out and see y'all fans. People are booking up these tours. It ain't even 2024 and people are booked. I have tickets for a show in August. I bought them in November. Okay, this is how much people are booking their tours now. So, K. Michelle is going on tour with Jaheem, Trey Songs, and Keisha Cole. The first date starts February 22nd in Macon, Georgia. And right now, the dates are through April. Very interesting that Jaheem is on this tour we have not seen him where Jaheem been so really interested to see how that goes hope he's doing well but yeah so K. Michelle Jaheem Trey songs and Keish Go going on tour so if you are fans of theirs make sure you get your tickets and last but not least, child, the train that's going to keep on rolling. Love is Blind has already announced that they are coming back. Season six is premiering on Valentine's Day. Let me tell you something. They better get their lives together because last season was a hot mess dot com slash org dot net. I don't know what they need to do. Vet these people really. really I mean, mental health. <laughs> evaluations I don't know <laughs> they need to do something child them folks was cuttings up they were not ready to get married they just I don't it was too team too much on that show and them having someone two people on that knew each other how love is blind and two of them knew each other prior anyways love is blind is back (laughs) on valentine's day 2024 and that is my little entertainment news quick fast and did it oh sorry something just happened was announced as i'm recording this because you know draymond green likes to knock and buck and be ready to fight and he in a recent game this week elbowed somebody again and the NBA has suspended him indefinitely they said oh (laughs) you like to fight huh well we tired the NBA stated that his suspension will begin immediately and he will have to meet certain league requirements and conditions before he is able to return they tired of him. <laughs> he needs anger management and prayer. Because there's no way you should be that aggressive where you can potentially cause severe bodily harm in an NBA game. Now, hockey, they just be, you know. But we seen, well, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there when that, God bless the dead. Child, get some help. NBA ain't playing with you. Okay, por favor. Okay. Moving on. What I've been watching. So, I was not going to watch this because the movie is just so wild. I watched the Squid Games game show. What's the actual name of this darn show? I saw people talking about it and I was like, let me just, because the, the movie is was just out of control like it's called squid game the challenge the movie was just out of control and i was like why would they make a game like why would you sign up did y'all see the movie where folks was dying in the movie y'all yeah but i did watch the game show spoiler alert if you have not watched the game show and you want to watch it you may hear some spoilers the winner I did not care for her I don't care I'm not gonna who it was a woman that won she was just not nice 
and I was hoping everybody under the sun except for her won. Some of them folks, I get it. Like, you have a chance to win over $4 million. You probably should do whatever you need to do to get that money. But I do think that there was there was a certain aspect of the game where there was a bit of a camaraderie and, a, and they were trying to help each other because at, at certain aspects of the game, you have to work as a team. But she was just ruthless for no reason where they were side eyeing her and saying she put on a facade like she nice but she not nice she was not nice and she won she got that money though she did get that money and there was one guy who he was definitely shady but I liked him though (laughs) he was shady but I liked his old shady behind and there definitely were some people that was like "Uh uh-uh it was definitely some people that I thought might have borderline been racist. I ain't gonna hold you. It was very interesting. It, but it was a good. I, I did not put that in my. I wouldn't say that that was my top ep show of the 2023. If they do another one, they they definitely are gonna do another one. I would watch it. But it was it was good. I do think you would probably enjoy it. But yeah, it was some shady shady boots as they used to say on that one show on on this game show child but i liked it and then of course i watched master chef junior i never i that's my first time ever watching the kid version of master chef and it was a four episode show it was super cute this is the first time that gordon ramsay's daughter was a judge tilly she's so cute and yeah, it was a cute show. It was very cute. I really, I know I'm saying cute because the kids, but it's always sad when they get voted off because you're like, oh my God, you're like nine. But yeah, it was a cute show. So Master Chef Junior Holiday Edition was very cute because they're kids. And yeah, that's what I watched. Alrighty, that's it. So let's wrap this up. So like I mentioned, I am going to go back to it this was my best of 2023 next week will be what i'm looking forward to in 2024 kind of goals what i got going on in 2024 etc and then the last week of the month there will be no new episode of the podcast okay okay it's okay it's okay don't worry i will be back the first week of january with new content rested rejuvenated and ready to go now let's get into what i do on thursdays which is song of the podcast it is a song that i have in heavy rotation it could be a new song or an oldie but goodie that i am loving and i hope that if you're unfamiliar with it you will listen to it and put it on your playlist and have it in heavy rotation too and today i have really been on a 90s music kick just really into my oldies but goodies really heavily lately and it is by the song of the podcast today is by brownstone and the song is titled five miles to empty Five miles too empty My heart is running low Whoa, I need a good man to fill me up I need a good man to give me love, babe That's really bad vocals Five, okay, I'm done So R.I.P. to Maxie who was in Brownstone and passed away unfortunately Very untimely years ago But brownstone five miles too empty and that is off of their album which was titled still climbing and that was released in 1997 i told y'all 90s kick over here so that is my song of the podcast thank you for tuning in happy holidays to you merry christmas and all of the happy new year we're not there yet but 
everything in between. Thank you for tuning in. Truly appreciate you. Take care of yourself. Self-care is very important. If you're traveling, travel safe. However you celebrate your holidays, celebrate them safe and responsibly. Tell your loved ones about me so that they can get in on these episodes too. If you listen to me on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you until and until next episode. This is your girl, Rochelle.